What? Welcome back. Look at them laugh. What? I think you did the bunny ears thing. It's kind of funny. Wow. This is Keith. He's this... the bunny ears bourbon guy. Uh, no, I'm the bourbon guy. I forgot who I was. I'm <laughs> Dustin. Yeah, so I'm kind of a music guy, but um, you guys know that by now. You know all this stuff. Well, hopefully. This yeah. could be the first time they're watching these couple of idiots sitting on a couch. If this is your first time watching these couple of idiots sitting on a couch, drinking bourbon, listening to country music, we're going to treat you like you're sitting on the couch with us. Pretty much. Yeah. So, um, we have a bourbon? We have bourbon. What we got? I like bourbon. <laughs> we got one that I'm a little bit excited about. This is uh, out of West Fork here in Indianapolis. We need to go visit them. Uh, so this one is Hugh Hammer's Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Finished. Ooh. And an Apple Brandy Barrel. Okay. I can be... I've, I've not tried this one yet, so I'm, I'm a little... It's, I think this, this is newer. We're sitting at 103 proof. Um, it's got a great color to it. It really does, doesn't it? Look, look at that. This bottle is clear. And that's got a good color. Yeah. So uh, the song that we're listening to is Carrie? Yeah, so another Carrie, um, who I think the last time we listened to kind of blew our minds. Right. Um, and this is uh, uh, Church Bells. This is very highly requested. This is not a bourbon bribe. This is one you guys have upvoted and... Uh, and gotten it up to the top and and here we are um i, I think the bar is high for carrie now definitely yeah um, we're not gonna let her slouch <laughs> not after what she showed us no we we know she's got pipes so let's let's see what she does with this one. Ooh, banjo love that banjo Jenny grew up wild like a backfoot daisy Out in the shack with the boutique hound Broke as hell, but blessed with beauty The kind that a rich man can turn down She caught the eye of an oil man dancing One summer night in a dime store dress She had the looks, he had the mansion And you can figure out the rest It was all roses, dripping in diamonds Sipping on champagne What's this song about? Sounding like some gold digging to me. She had money. Right, she found her a rich man. With a nominee. <laughs> she might be a gold digger. Complete <laughs> <laughs> play. I ain't saying she a gold digger. I am, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> It was all roses, tripping in diamonds, sipping on champagne. She was all uptown, wearing that white gown, taking his last name. She could hear those church bells ringing, ringing. And up in the loft, that whole choir singing, singing. Fold your hands and close your eyes. Yeah, it's all gonna be alright. And just listen to the church.
So this is, you guys are teaching us how often country music tells a story. Yep. And tells it well. And this is one where everybody's wrong. It had a happy ending. Well, yeah, a wife beater got his, what got what was coming to him. Yeah. But there was no good person in this story. True story. That's yeah. true. You know, I, I've heard a saying that actually cracked me up a little bit. If you marry for money, you'll earn every penny of it. Oh, I like that. But uh, not really. I mean, because <laughs> what it implies is... It, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. That's, that's why that little saying struck me so well. I'm like, oh, that's profound. You're, you're, we're, you're not wrong. That's a good one. Um, this So it started off with the gold digger, and we're like, ugh. Right, 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 and then it started off. Then we had a wife beater. Um, we're like, yeah, this is wood chipper material here. Like, are you serious, guys? Yeah. Are you trying to get us hot? Yeah, if you want to piss us off, like, come on, that's how you do it. Um, yeah, ab- abuse women, children, mm-hmm. the elderly, the handicapped, Disabled, anybody exactly. weaker than you. Yeah. Abuse them. Bingo. And we... You're a piece of shit. Yeah, my blood start, blood pressure starts going up. Yeah. Um, so then she whacks him. <laughs> which... That's how I would die. You know that, right? No, it absolutely is. Well... Uh-huh. Dude, for you, it's a coin toss. Yeah. It's either a bloodbath. Shit sprayed <laughs> on the fucking walls everywhere. The forensics guys walk in and they're like... This is going to take a week. Well, you know, my boy says, why do you provide her tools for your own demise? Right. <laughs> but I provide her quality tools because for his own demise. Right. Um, so you're either going out that way. Yeah. Or some untraceable poison in your fucking bourbon, just like this song. Right. It's, it's going to be a coin toss, though. So... For me, any way I get taken out, it, it, it's all painted the walls. That's true. It, that any way it goes, I'm, uh, parts yeah. of me are everywhere. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know about her family crest. So that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Uh, so uh, I, I either get stabbed or I get gauged. Probably that's how I check out. You, you With heard your it own here. This will, this will, No, it's hers. Oh, she wouldn't use your semi. Well, no, she that's pretty much hers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, your honor, enjoy exhibit A. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll put it on video for you. Yeah. So, <laughs> one thing I want to throw in about this tune. It was obviously super highly produced. Oh, crazy highly produced. But I kind of liked it. No, it, very, very, it was very well produced then would be... Maybe the right phrase. Um, I was kind of tripping on the dichotomy of this kind of loping banjo. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of loping along, providing a rhythm. And then uh, Eddie Van Halen style guitar solos. Yeah. It's kind of like... Is this a country song? Do do these things go together? And somehow they did. They did really well. (laughs) They did. Uh, Yeah. um, and, And... uh, Carrie didn't disappoint. No, nah, she delivered it well. I'm going to tell you, though, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I heard effects on her voice. It might have not been auto-tune. It wasn't, it wasn't auto-tune. Um, but they I do like think, those studio effects. I think what I heard was a touch of chorus um, and a good bit of gate. And I really don't mind gate because... What's gate do? So what it does, they used to do it manually. So they'd have a singer and a microphone here. And then they'd have a singer, another microphone, 20 feet away. 
Oh, to provide like a delay kind no, of? No, no delay. And when her voice volume hit a high enough level and there was, it threw a switch and it's tripped over, it turned off the microphone right in front of her, switched to the microphone 20 feet away so that you're hearing her belt, but the volume didn't blast in your ear balls. God. <laughs> so. You have balls in your ears? That explains a lot. Wow. What? I, anyway. He said ear balls. You heard it. <laughs> anyway. Hey, where'd our bourbon go? Oh. Oops. Here it is. <laughs> Just put it down off camera. Yeah. I'm done all this. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is pretty good stuff, man. This is different. It's different from, anything. very different from anything I've had from them, for sure. Yeah. Um, let, let me let me try and, and go through this. Some, sometimes we alternate on who's going to try and describe Before you it try first. it, All right. the nose, what do you get? Florals, um, almost like roses. No. That's what I'm getting. Oh, what are you, all right. Think Granny Smith Apple. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll be damned. Yeah. It's weird. Like, whoa. But it's funny because it says on here, just like Granny Smith made it. So, this had, it's very much a bourbon. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry. Don't you try to give me that Rona? Um, I've already had that. I'm good. <laughs> um, there, the them finishing that in apple brandy barrels really imparted apple brandy flavor to this. Absolutely. This almost tastes like a blend between a bourbon and an apple brandy mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I love apple brandy. Right. So for me, that's a very good thing. Thanks, Starlight. <laughs> you did it it is your fault <laughs> uh, so just like Granny Smith made it from some of our finest hammer corn recipe comes a caramel apple in a glass shit for once the marketing guys absolutely right nailed it 100% caramel apple is what just, you get just to let you guys know usually whatever the marketing wants at a distillery put on a bottle 98% of the time is utter clown shoes. It's bullshit. <laughs> like, it's tasting tasty notes of stone fruit and baking spice. <laughs> With light alpine florals. Right. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> and crisp. I don't know. Like licking the dew off of an Edelweiss flower leaf. <laughs> yeah, no. This is actually right. This is an interesting part, though. Apple pie, raspberries, and an oaky vanilla on the nose. Nope. Mm. Got that wrong. It's an apple. <laughs> it's a Granny Smith apple on the nose. A caramel apple. Oh, on the nose? On the yeah, nose. Granny Smith apple. A yeah. straight up Granny Smith. Uh, yeah, so we're getting into those things nah. that we just told you about. <laughs> uh, lingering sweet caramel slowly fades with a touch of oak to round out the finish. I kind of agree with That's that. That's not wrong. <laughs> so, uh, again, this is uh, distilled and bottled by West Fork here in Indianapolis. If you can get your hands on this. Yeah, you, do it. If it's you like apple brandy. You'll love this. If you like bourbon, this is the most different than I've. So, what's interesting, <clears throat> we're seeing this a lot in bourbon right now. There's a lot of fish finishing going on in bourbon. Because... You can only get so many flavors from your mash bill and from your barrels. There's a lot of restrictions around what you put in bourbon, right? So we're seeing a lot of bourbons get finished in things. Different things, like from different wine, crazy-ass wine casks that are like the... Prisoner. Or the yeah, the prisoner wine ones or the ones with the infected grapes. <laughs> right. Right? You know what I'm talking about. To now brandy casks. Um, this one's so... They can be hit or miss that finishing. 
And this one, in my opinion, is a hit, like a home run. <laughs> and what's cool about finishing is it's not flavored. Right. Right? Because, like, okay... If somebody takes some blueberry syrup and pours it in a bourbon barrel, oh. I'm going to taste that. Oh. I'm going to hate it. It's going I'm to going taste to like throw the bottle. It's away. going to be gross. It's going to taste like like bad medicine. Yeah, right. If some of y'all probably like Jack Daniel's honey, some of y'all probably like Jim Beam apple. Right, that's okay. To each their own. <laughs> that's not our thing. But this is not that. No, this is. This is a good drink. It's, it's very good. Hey, so if you guys enjoyed this video and Dustin being fascinated with my earballs, uh, <laughs> click the like button. What? <laughs> click the like button. Come on. Go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> well, I click was going to send this video to West Fork, but I'm not now. <laughs> click, click the little bell. Uh, so you get notified. Uh, it, it drop down in the comments. Tell us what songs to listen to. Vote, upvote your song. Uh, tell us what bourbons to drink. Yeah. Uh, if you want to propel your song request to the front of the list, send us a bottle of you know bourbon or American or Canadian whiskey. Preferably one kind of like. So what would be really neat if y'all are going to send us a bottle and you live near a distillery. Yeah, send us something local to you. Yeah. That'd be really cool. We love local. Local's yeah. awesome. Uh, and the chances are that we would ever have it is... Slim. Right. So that'd be really cool. Yeah. So, um, hey, till next time, guys. See you.